It's 824 on this Friday morning. You're watching Breakfast Television. Now, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, nothing better than to check out the Portobello West Market, because I've been thinking about doing that myself. Carly Smith is with us this morning. Hi. Hi. What is the Portobello West Market for people who haven't heard of it? It's a fashion and art market. And it's all local artists and designers the last Sunday of every month. Now, this has gotten to be very popular. It has. Yeah, we've developed quite the following. We launched last year this time, so we're coming up to our one-year anniversary. Mm -hmm. And we have a very loyal crew of fans that come to every single market to the point where I recognize them now. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you know what? The stuff that you find there, I'd imagine you can't find anywhere else. A lot of it you can't. Uh, because some of the designers are so small, they can hardly keep up with doing it once a month. So you can't even find it in shops. And people love to have unique stuff, like the dress that you're wearing. I thought this is beautiful. Yeah, it's very cute. It's a African material in a 1950s kind of style. So it's got color, but it's not too out there. So. And how did this start up? Uh, I actually lived and worked in London, England, and in England there's markets every weekend. And I got the idea from that and just thought, why don't we have this? We need to have it. <laughs> we should so, do something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so right now we're going to look at fashions. A little bit later on we're going to look at some of the art as well. Yes, we will. But let's start first here. Well, first we have a design by Shana Webb. Okay. And this is Shana Webb, the designer on your right. Hello, Hello. Shana. How are you? Can you tell us about this? So this is all my outfit. It's a Sadie jacket with, or sorry, the Olivia jacket with red wool. And the Sadie dress is made from cotton and bamboo. Wow, where did you come up with the idea for this? Like, was there a certain style you were trying to... Um, it was just taking inspiration from the past and also trying to have something innovative for the future of fashion, which I think is in the sustainable textiles. Mm -hmm. Okay, and will, you, will people find jackets like this when they come down there in different sizes for them? Or Yeah, definitely. Um, something I like to have the pieces individual, so variations of it. Okay, that's very nice. Thank you very Thank much you. for that, Shayna. So, Carly, how many people are we talking about here? Uh, we usually have anywhere between 90 and 100. Right. These girls that we're seeing today are actually finalists from the Graduate Award. Right. So a lot of them have just finished fashion school. Okay. Um, and the winner of the Graduate Award will be at the market for a full year, hopefully okay. starting September. And Randy's coming out too here, right? Let's Randy is our out. next designer. She's very well known for her handbags here. Hi, Ryan. I can see Hi. that because you've got one and yeah. Lala has one. Tell us about those. Well, I love working with recycled materials. So these are recycled leather. It's scrap from a local furniture manufacturer. Oh, how did you yeah. start doing that? Well, I actually took the upholstery program at Kwantlen a few years ago. So upholstery That's like fashion. furniture, right? Actually, it was automotive. <laughs> oh, even yeah, better. It was so. automotive upholstery and yeah. you ended up making handbags. Yeah, I love working with leather. So. And how much work or how many hours goes into making one bag? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> These straps are all hand braided. There's quite a lot of stitching involved. They're actually available at Twig and Hottie now, too, on Main Street. So That's great. Really exciting. Is it neat for you, or does it sometimes get overwhelming when people come in and all of a sudden you're inundated with orders? Um, so far, I'm selling so many to friends and family, so they're pretty patient. <laughs> yeah, they're waiting. The yeah. waiting list is okay. It's manageable. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, thank you very much for that. All right, so what else do we have? Our next designer is Anita Heiberg. And she actually spent some time in Finland, so her designs are very European. Hello, Anita. Come on, Hi. step over here with me sure. and tell me about what we have here. Uh, basically, we have a pleated silk charmeuse dress. Uh, it's got a little bit of a menswear fabric detail on it in the belt. And here, I'd like to uh, incorporate a lot of menswear fabrics and uh, do a, a lot of contrast to my design. And like, is this yours too, what this you're wearing? mine as well. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so what can people find if they come down to the market and look for you? Um, well, I'm not in the market soon, and uh, definitely easy wearing uh, garments. I think a lot of dresses, tops. And that would be your philosophy for that? Would just be easy to wear? Easy to wear, but pretty. Um, easy to take care of. Casual, but something that you can dress up in. See, definitely. everybody loves clothes like that. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. listen, thank you very much. Yeah. Very nice. And last but not least. Last but not least is our design duo, Carmen and Michelle from Kwantlen. And Carmen is one of the designers, but also modeling today. Oh, hi. Hi. Nice to see you this morning. Now tell me about the dress. Well, this is our keyhole dress, and it has our nice little necktie that adds a little bit of sophistication and snugger fit that's double layered there on right. the, on the uh, hips. And then we have a cute little slit in the back. Oh, she's going to take the jacket off. Yeah. Ah, that's the <laughs> keyhole. I get that. Um, now, how hard is it to work as a team? You're both the designers. Who does what? How do you divide up the work? Honestly, we work really well together. We just we just kind of bounce ideas off each other, and it just kind of goes from there. Yeah. Very coherent. <laughs> when did this start? Um, we've been doing this for about a year now. Yeah? And yeah. was it just naturally you were friends? And Yeah, exactly. We work together, and we have oh. lived together. <laughs> So no problems, though, right? Like, sometimes it can be hard when you become friends and you live together, then you decide to work together, too. Yeah, you'd think I would get sick of her, but I just didn't. <laughs> so, how about you? Have you gotten sick of her yet? 
<laughs> well, no. no, we get along really, really great. We're really lucky. All right, and what's your philosophy with the clothing then? Comfortable. We use a lot of knits, so comfort is our number one thing, and so it fits a lot of different kinds of bodies as well. So, all right, well, we very nice. Too. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carly, for showing us everything this morning. Everything looks so nice. Check out the Portobello West Market. When is it happening again? It's this Sunday, yeah. and you can find Bad Apple there. They're selling already. They've been in production for a while. Okay. And the other designers, we're hoping to see them coming in the future months because it's the last Sunday of every month. Okay, there yeah. you go. It is uh, time to find out what's going on in traffic and weather. Here's Don.